All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Uh, today we're taking a look at a game called Invisigun Heroes. I've talked about this game on the channel a few times before. I mentioned that I wanted to play this game for one of our game nights that we have every uh, every month or so. Two games every month. Uh, and I realized this is a game that I kind of need to explain and let you experience before you go ahead and jump in. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this. Uh, actually, I think the best way for me to explain this game is to just go, the, go to the tutorial. All right, so let's take a look at that. I feel like there's no better explanation than the tutorial for this game. Ah, new cadet. Welcome to the Central Invisigun Academy, where you'll be instructed on the basics of movement and combat. I'm going to take off this hoodie. It was cold when I first started recording, and now I'm hot. Please pay attention. You'll probably graduate in just a minute or so, like all the cadets who came before you and now believe they are heroes. If you can't handle it, you can skip training any time by pressing your escape button. We won't judge. Well, maybe a little. Alright, so the music is very nice on this game. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. I love this music. First, try your hand at navigation. See if you can walk over to that marked spot over there without bumping into any walls. Take your time. All right, so that's us on the left, or that's me on the left, rather. I have to get to the three by three squares that are outlined. It's rather simple. You move with the arrows in case you were wondering. Nice job. Pretty simple so far, right? Yeah, I'm used to, I'm used to side-scrolling platformers, you know? Okay, same goal. There's just a little more in your way this time. Make your way to that target, cadet, without bumping into any walls. Alright. So instead of just running to the right, you now have to move up to the right, around. Let's see if I can avoid the water as well. Nice job, cadet. Now comes the twist. Your standard issue Invisigun has a very handy feature. It creates a genetic bond and can bend light around you. Basically, it makes you invisible. This makes it difficult for your foes, for sure, but it's also not a walk in the park for you. Try and reach the marked target again, except you can't see yourself. Remain calm. Uh, he didn't say, but we need to avoid walls as well. Okay, so that's the catch of the game. That's the gimmick of the game, rather. Uh, I want to make it to my target or defeat an opponent without being able to see myself or see them. It's really difficult. So let's see. Can I make it? I remember what tile I was in. Do you remember what tile I was in? I tell you where I am right now, but I'd have to kill you. I think I'm there. I think I'm good. I think I'm clear. I think I'm really clear. You can use audio cues in here. I don't know if you can hear my footsteps or hear when I'm walking. But you could tell, like, which side of the room I'm on. You can't tell exactly what tile unless you know what button I'm pressing. But you can hear, like, when I've gone from the left side to the right. Audio is actually really good in this game. All right, good job. Don't get too excited. I'm not impressed. But it was passable. So let's move on. All right, let's get some practice in with your standard issue Invisigun. See if you can shoot those targets there, over there. Destroy them all. Sometimes you might find stuff in your way. Go ahead and shoot through that stuff too. One thing you'll learn here is that you'll become visible for a moment when you shoot. This helps you get your bearings, but it also points you out to your foes. All right. So that's me shooting. You can't cross the gap. All right. Grab that power up and shoot faster. Oh, so I'm I'm dumb. It doesn't want me to get over there. It just wants me to shoot those uh those targets. Got it. There's one. Let's see if I can do it without the power up. Nope. This two. And three. Dope. Very good, cadet. Just like the rest, you're gonna believe you're a hero. There's just one last thing. Everyone has a special ability that makes them unique. This is probably why cadets think they're heroes. 
based on your reputation, it's clear that you're known as quite the leaper. See if you can use that talent to reach the target and I'll graduate you. If you don't bump into anything. Alright, so I'm the leaper. I can't shoot those down. So I gotta jump over it. I jump with the B button. And I don't think I, I explained it. I also shoot with the A button. Oh, it's open. Door is open. Oh. What a fantastic display. It looks like you'll overcome any hurdle that gets in your way. Because I'm a leaper. You get it? All right. You've proven yourself. But there's a lot more to learn than that the academy can't teach you. You are hereby graduated. Good luck out there. All right, and that's the whole tutorial for the game. That's that's the whole catch, rather. Uh, it's it's a shooter. It's very similar to like Bomberman. If Bomberman used a gun instead of bombs, the only catch is characters are invisible. Characters are invisible. So I figured this would be a great game to play uh, as a game night thing. I'll also do single players so that you can see more in depth what it's actually like to play the game against opponents. Uh, now there's a way to play this game so that if you're streaming uh, or recording, like I'm doing now. You can display it so that they can see where you are. The viewers can see where you are, but you can't. So that's what I'm going to be using. What you're going to see from here on out is... Uh, let me see. What am I trying to say? What you're going to see from here on out is you being able to see where I am, but I can't. So if I say I don't know where I am, that's going to be why. Because I can't see anything. You can, but I can't. Oh, just go be good. <laughs> All right, quick edit. What I realized is I can't do single player and record in that mode. So what I'll just do is a a an exhibition match. I'll pick up a versus match against computers. That way I can show you what it's like to play the game. That's simple. I just go to play online. And I create a custom match. I go survival. We're going to do numerous. That's the first world. And then we're doing the watering hole. Uh, we're going to do three wins and power-ups drop every 30 seconds. Uh, bots allowed? Yes, we're going to have three bots. So it's me versus three computers. Uh, and it's going to be a private server, so no one can just join randomly. All right, so as my character, I will be Celine. I actually like Celine. Celine has the jumper ability. She, she'll use the same mechanic that we saw uh, in the tutorial. All right, so that's me. Now what I'll do is I'll take the private code, as you can see in the top left corner, and I'll open up another window uh, with it set so that you can actually see the character, and I'll enter that code. That's what you'll be doing uh, for game night. So give me just one second here. All right, so I'm looking at a completely different screen from what you see now. You see a screen that says you'll be spectating this match. That way you can watch it uh, with all the characters shown. Uh, I'm playing as Celeste, or I'm sorry, Celine, and then three other characters will come up. All right, so that's our four. That's our four for this battle. This go be good. This go be good. Now what I'm going to try and have it do is so that if I'm looking at this screen, I'm looking at me playing. If I'm looking this way, then I'm very clearly looking at the the uh. What's it called? I'm very clearly looking at your screen, what you see with everything visible. I just need to make sure that I don't have anything blocking right now. And we're good, more or less. Uh, I'm blocking, it looks like, two squares. It shouldn't affect it that much. All right. Here we go. Uh, the point of the game, we got to get three kills to win. Shit, 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 shit. They're going to find me. There's one. There's two. I'm actually, uh-oh. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. I'm actually pretty decent at this because I play a lot of Bomberman. I play a lot of Bomberman, and a lot of Bomberman is figuring out where they're going, what they're trying to do. I'm not amazing. Like, I'm, I'm still hashtag trash bag at this like I am. Everything else. Got him. <laughs> but I'm pretty decent at this. I'm pretty decent. Round over. The instant replay. That's dope. What does it show for you for that? Oh, it shows the, uh... Okay. 
dope. It just shows that screen for me. Okay. That's dope. All right, here we go. We're ready? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It shows it flipped. It shows it in mirror mode. So even if I'm trying to look over, A, I don't have the right color. And B, I'm on the opposite side of the screen. So it's it's hard for me. It's very difficult for me to cheat looking over there. Okay. That's cool. Oh, get the hell out of there. Come on. Uh, uh, got one. Let me get the hell out of there. Uh-oh. Got him. And then one more. Okay, I see you. I see you with your looking ass. Damn. Too far. Ah. Uh-oh. Let me get the hell out of there. Oh, she can put down blocks to work as shields? That's deep. I like that. Who is that? That's Carmen. I kind of want to. I kind of want to check out Carmen, to be honest. I've only played three games of this. This is literally the third game of this that I've that I've ever played. I played it once when I first got it. I was te checking out uh, streaming this for game night because I know I wanted to do it for game night. And then this is the very third time that I'm playing this game. So I'm honestly, I don't even know what characters are all available. That's deep. All right, so one more win. One more win, and I got this. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. It makes it so you can't cheat. Like, it's 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 more work to cheat than actually play the game. <laughs> Damn it. I'm trying to not bump into walls. What, why they trained you to not bump into walls is because... Uh, bumping into a wall tells where you are for your opponent and it stuns you. So it's actually not beneficial to bump into a wall. You want to try your best to keep track of how many times you press a button. Got one. Come on, Blue. Ugh. Oh, she coming for me. She, she coming for me. She is actually really good. She's doing a great job of making this hell. Ah, shoot. I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. She's down there. Oh, God. Oh, what? Ah, she moves too quickly. I want that. I want that power up so bad. But that's why she went back in there because she knows I want it. Damn. Oh, and I can't run into her, bl her bricks either. Oh, that's not cool. Oh yeah, carbon. I want carbon. <laughs> I want to be carbon. I can't run into her blocks. That's crazy. All right. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> my my mind is blown looking at that. That's crazy. Okay. Damn. Okay, so Iris can move really quickly across a large set of tiles. Uh-oh. Come on. Where we at? Oh! 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 <laughs> I thought he was going to shoot me. I didn't know where I was for like half a second. The second he fired, I was like, yo, I'm dead. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He tried it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Let me see that Insta replay. That was deep. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh man. This is all by Vita. <laughs> uh, that's it. I got it. I got three wins. 
I took so many steps. I was running all over the place. It shows how many steps, how many times you bumped into something, how many times you fired. And how many times you used your ability. I only jumped once. Honestly, I forgot I could jump. I forgot I could jump. That's deep. All right, guys. So that was our very first look at uh, Invisigun Heroes. Like I said, I want to play this on the game night. Now, what's really cool about this game is that you don't need to own it. I'm sorry, you don't need to buy it in order to play it. You need to have Steam, of course. That's the platform that's available on. Uh, but you can download a demo of the game that will allow you to play with a lot of limited features. But you can play with other players, both people who have the game as well as those who haven't the game. Uh, in the description below, I'll have information on how you can play uh, Invisigun Heroes yourself, whether you want to buy the demo, I'm sorry, get the demo or buy the full game. And we're also going to be playing this on a game night, but it's going to be weird because it's going to be a Sunday afternoon instead of a Saturday night like we always do. I'm thinking November 12th. I'll have information in the description on when we're going to play game night as well as how you can play. Thank you guys for checking this video out, and I hope you enjoyed. If you love to see more like this, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever uh, a video like Invisigun Heroes or an announcement like Game Night or anything else that Alt Play has to offer happens. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. This game was fun. This game was actually a lot of fun.